Hello everyone. First of all, I would like to thank you for dropping by here at Common Prayer Day by Day, your daily devotional, and to also ask you to subscribe and to click on the bell button alongside the subscribe button to receive notifications of when I post either a morning or an evening prayer. I'd also ask for one more favor, and that is to, for you to uh, share us on your social media. Who knows, you may have some friends of yours that may really enjoy this as well. And I would be pleased if they would be able to join us here. If you live on the Lower Mainland of BC, or if you're going to be in the Lower Mainland area in BC in any time in the future, and you feel like that you would like to drop by here and visit us here at St. Peter and St. Paul on 7772 Graham Avenue, Burnaby, BC. Well, the services here on Sundays are at 10 o'clock in the morning. Normally a Eucharist service with some morning prayer services throwing in, thrown in during the year as well. Also on Sundays, we have a 7 p.m. service here, which is an evening prayer. And if you're here on the Lower Mainland and or you live in the area, maybe you would like to drop by just to have a look, check us out, and I would encourage that. Again, our address is 7772 Graham Avenue, Burnaby, BC. I will thank you for joining us today. For, your, for the service that you're about to watch. And again, don't forget to subscribe. Okay? Bye for now. God bless. Open thou, O Lord, our mouths to praise thy holy name. Cleanse also our hearts from all vain, evil, and wandering thoughts. Enlighten our understanding. Enkindle our affections that we may say this office with attention and devotion, and so be, meeting, be heard in the presence of thy divine majesty. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Good morning, everyone. This morning's service is the service of morning prayer for Wednesday and Holy Week. And our service begins on page 6 of the Book of Common Prayer. God commendeth his love toward us, in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Let us pray. O Lord, open thou our lips, and our mouth shall show forth thy praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise ye the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. O oh, come, let us sing unto the Lord. Let us heartily rejoice in the strength of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and show ourselves glad in him with songs. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hands are all the corners of the earth and the strength of the hills is his also. The sea is his, and he made it, and his hands prepared the dry land. O oh, come, let us worship and fall down, and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is the Lord our God, and we are the people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. Today, O oh, that we would hear his voice, harden not your hearts as in the provocation, and as in that day of temptation in the wilderness, when your fathers tempted me, proved me, and saw my works. Forty years long was I grieved with that generation and said, It is a people that do err in their hearts, for they have not known my ways, unto whom I swear my wrath, that they should not enter into my rest. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The hymn chosen for this morning's service 
is hymn number 642. <clears throat> 642. Yield not to temptation, for yielding is sin. Each victory will help you, some other to win. Fight manfully onward, dark passion subdue. Look ever to Jesus, he will carry you through. Ask the Savior to help you, comfort, strengthen, and keep you. He is willing to aid you, he will carry you through. Shun evil compassions, have bad language disdain. God's name hold in reverence, nor take it in vain. Be thoughtful and earnest, kind-hearted and true. Look ever to Jesus, he will carry you through. Ask the Savior to help you, comfort, strengthen, and keep you. He is willing to aid you. He will carry you through. To him that are common, God giveth a crown. Through faith we shall conquer, though often cast down. He who is our Savior, our strength will renew. Look ever to Jesus, he will carry you through. Ask the Savior to help you. Comfort, strengthen, and keep you. He is willing to aid you. He will carry you through. Amen. The Psalm Appointed for this morning's service is Psalm 109, 109, found on page 475, 475. Hold not thy peace, O God of my praise. For the mouth of the ungodly, yea, the mouth of the deceitful, is open upon me. They have spoken against me with false tongues. They compassed me about also with words of hatred and fought against me without a cause. For the love that I had unto them, lo, they take now my contrary part. But I give myself unto prayer. Thus have they rewarded me evil for good, and hatred for my good will. But deal thou with me, O Lord God, according to thy name. For sweet is thy mercy. O deliver me, for I am helpless and poor, and my heart is wounded within me. I go hence like the shadow that declineth, and am driven away as the locust. My knees are weak 
through fasting. My flesh is dried up for want of fatness. I am come, become also re a reproach unto them. They that look upon me shake their heads. Help me, O Lord my God. O save me according to thy mercy. And they shall know how that this is thy hand, and that thou, Lord, hast done it. Though they curse, yet they bless thou. Though they curse, yet bless thou. And let them be confounded that rise up against me. But thy servant shall rejoice. Let mine adversaries be clothed with shame. And let them, be co let them cover themselves with their own confusion as with a cloak. As for me, I will give thanks unto the Lord with my mouth. My praise and praise him among the multitude. For he shall stand at the right hand of the poor to save his soul from the unrighteous judges. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Our first lesson is written in the book of Numbers, chapter 21, beginning at the fourth verse. From Mount Hor, they set out by the way of the Red Sea to go around the land of Edom, and the people became impatient on the way. And the people spoke against God and against Moses. Why have you brought us up out of Egypt to die in the wilderness? For there is no food and no water, and we loathe this worthless food. Then the Lord sent fiery serpents among the people, and they bit the people, so that many people of Israel died. And the people came to Moses and said, We have sinned, for we have spoken against the Lord and against you. Pray to the Lord that he take away the serpents from us. And so Moses prayed for the people. And the Lord said to Moses, Make a fiery serpent and sit it on a pole. And every one who is bitten, when he sees it, shall live. So, Mel, so Moses made a bronze serpent and set it on a pole. And if a serpent bit any man, he would look at the bronze serpent and live. Here endeth the first lesson. Continuing now on the bottom of page 7 of the Book of Common Prayer with the Deum. We praise thee, O God, we acknowledge thee to be the Lord. All the earth doth worship thee, the Father everlasting. To thee all angels cry aloud, the heavens and all the powers therein. To thee cherubim and seraphim continually do cry. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of the majesty of thy glory. The glorious company of the apostles praise thee. The goodly fellowship of the prophets praise thee. 
the noble army of martyrs praise thee. The Holy Church throughout all the world doth acknowledge thee. The Father of an independent majesty, thine honorable, true, and only Son, also the Holy Ghost, the Comforter. Thou art the King of glory, O Christ. Thou art the everlasting Son of the Father. When thou tookest upon thee to deliver man, thou didst not abhor the virgin's womb. When thou hast overcome the sharpness of death, thou didst open the kingdom of heaven to all believers. Thou sittest at the right hand of God in the glory of the Father. We believe that thou shalt come to be our judge. We therefore pray thee, help thy servants whom thou hast redeemed with thy precious blood. Make them to be numbered with thy saints in glory everlasting. O Lord, save thy people and bless thine heritage. Govern them and lift them up forever. Day by day we magnify thee, and we worship thy name ever world without end. Vouchsafe, O Lord, to keep us this day without sin. O Lord, have mercy upon us, have mercy upon us. O Lord, let thy mercy lighten upon us, as our trust is in thee. O Lord, in thee have I trusted. Let me never be confounded. Our second lesson is written in the Gospel of John, chapter 16, beginning at the first verse. I have said, I have said all this to you to keep you from falling away. They will put you out of the synagogues. Indeed, the hour is coming when he, whoever kills you will think he is offering service to God. And they will do this because they have not known the Father nor me. But I have said these things to you that when their hour comes, you may remember that I told you of them. I did not say these things to you from the beginning because I was with you, but now I am going to him who sent me. Yet none of you asks me, where are you going? But because I have said these things to you, sorrow has filled your hearts. Nevertheless, I tell you the truth. It is to your advantage that I go away. For if I do not go away, the Counselor will not come to you. But if I go, I will send him to you. And when he comes, he will convince the world, he will convince the world of sin and of righteousness and of judgment of sin because they do not believe in me, of righteousness because I go to the Father and you will see me no more, of judgment because the ruler of this world is judged. I have yet many things to say to you, but you cannot bear them now. When the Spirit of truth comes, he will guide you into all the truth. For he will not speak of his own authority, but whatever he hears, he will speak. And he will declare to you the things that are to come. He will glorify me, for he will take what is mine and declare it to you. All that the Father hath is mine. Therefore I said that he will take what is mine and declare it to you. Here endeth the second lesson. Continuing now on page nine of the Book of Common Prayer with the Benedictus. 
Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, for he hath visited and redeemed his people, and hath raised up a mighty salvation for us in the house of his servant David, as he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began, that we should be saved from our enemies and from the hands of all that hate us, to perform the mercy promised to our forefathers, and to remember his holy covenant, to perform the oath which he sware to our forefather Abraham, that he would grant us, that we, being delivered of the hands of our enemies, might serve him without fear, in holiness and righteousness before him, all the days of our life. And thou, child, shalt be called the prophet of the highest, for thou shalt go before the face of the Lord to prepare his ways, to give knowledge of salvation unto his people for the remission of our sins. Through the tender mercy of our God, whereby the day spring from on high hath visited us, to give light to them that sit in darkness and in the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence she shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with thy spirit, let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. O Lord, show thy mercy upon us, and grant us thy salvation. O Lord, save the Queen, and mercifully hear us when we call upon thee. Endue thy ministers with righteousness, and make thy chosen people joyful. O Lord, save thy people, and bless thine inheritance. Give peace in our time, O Lord, and evermore mightily defend us. O God, may clean our hearts within us, and take not thy Holy Spirit from us. Almighty and everlasting God, who of thy tender love towards mankind has sent thy Son, our Savior Jesus Christ, to take upon him our flesh and to suffer death upon the cross, that all mankind should follow the example of his great humility. Mercifully grant that we may both follow the example of his patience and also be made partakers of his resurrection through the same Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. O God, who art the author of peace and lover of concord, in knowledge of whom standeth the eternal life, whose service is perfect freedom, defend us, thy humble servants, and all assaults of our enemies, that we, surely trusting in thy defense, may not fear the power of any adversaries. Through the might of Jesus Christ, our Lord, Amen. O Lord, our Heavenly Father, almighty, everlasting God, who has safely brought us to the beginning of this day, defend us from the same with thy mighty power, 
and grant that this day we fall into no sin, neither run into any kind of danger, but that all our doings would be ordered by thy governance, to do always that is righteous in thy sight. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, the fountain of all goodness, we humbly beseech thee to bless our sovereign lady, Queen Elizabeth, the parliaments of the Commonwealth, and all who are set in authority under her, that they may order all things in wisdom, righteousness, and peace, to the honor of thy holy name, and the good of thy church and people, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty and everlasting God, from, co from whom cometh every good and perfect gift, send down upon our bishops and clergy and all congregations committed to their charge the healthful spirit of thy grace, and that they may truly please thee, pour upon them the continual dew of thy blessing. Grant this, O Lord, for the honor of our advocate and mediator, Jesus Christ. Amen. O God, the creator and preserver of all mankind, we humbly beseech thee for all sorts and conditions of men, that thou wouldst be pleased to make thy ways known unto them, thy saving health unto all nations. More especially we pray for the good of state of the Catholic Church, that it may be so guided and governed by thy good spirit, that all who profess and call themselves Christians may be led into the way of truth and hold the faith in the unity of spirit, in the bond of peace and in righteousness of life. Finally, we commend to thy fatherly goodness all those who are in any ways afflicted or distressed in mind, body, or estate. That it may please thee to comfort and relieve them according to their several necessities, giving them patience under their suffering and a happy issue out of all of their afflictions. And this we beg for Jesus Christ's sake. Amen. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, thy unworthy servants, do give thee most humble and hearty thanks for all thy goodness and loving kindness to us and to all men. We beseech thee to, we bless thee for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life but above all for thine inestimable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we beseech thee, give us that due sense of all thy mercies, that our hearts will be unfailingly thankful and that we show forth thy praise not only with our lips but in our lives by giving up of ourselves to thy service and by walking before thee in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom of thee and the Holy Ghost be all honor and glory, world without end. Amen. Almighty God, who has given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplications unto thee, and us promise that when two or three are gathered together in thy name, thou wilt grant the requests. Fulfill now, O Lord, the desires and petitions of thy servants, as may be most expedient for them, granting us in this world knowledge of thy truth, and in the world to come, life everlasting. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Ghost, be with us all evermore. Amen.